Hey, Astro Nerds, C-Star S50, C-Star S30. This is all the same. It's all for all of us. It's May 15. This morning, I woke up with the big surprise of a new app upgrade to V2.5 via C Victor. <laughs> well, there's two big surprises on this one. Uh, one of them is that for the first time, now the uh, C-Star S50 is capable of doing 60 seconds per frame only with the uh, EQ mode because 60 seconds is very difficult for any smart telescope, small uh, sensors, and also flat frames as a calibration process. And if you are new to astrophotography, well, you're thinking, what are flat frames? Well, flat frames are part of the calibration frames that are used in astrophotography for further editing. These are frames that are taken individually um, before or after the imaging session. And traditionally, they were taken uh, before... Uh, with the sunlight, especially on that blue hour when the sun is a little bit uh, not as strong, uh, there are different techniques. One of them is using a, t a white t-shirt or some piece of white fabric covering the lens and then letting the uh, light come in. Another way to do this is using an artificial uh, light source, such a, as a panel that I have one of them uh, to uh, create this artificial light that it's going to uh, help to take these flat frames very accurately using softwares like Sequence Generator and Nina, which are the softwares that I use for the traditional gear. But also we can use another type of light which is a uh, light that comes from our cell phones and also tablets can be very helpful. But considering that the uh, C-Star is very small, I think the cell phones is much better. Okay, so this is May 15, 2025. So when you install the app for the first time, it goes automatically into the uh, new upgrade. But if you already have the app installed, then it's a different process. The app is going to be uninstalled and installed again. Let's watch. And it's uh, going into the process right now and it seems like um, it's going to uninstall first. We're going to say yes. <laughs> uninstall this app, yeah, because um, you have to uninstall and install. It may take a few minutes. Um, I do this with the other smart telescopes that I have. So it's a normal process. So now we're just going to wait and see what happens uh, when it installs the new app. So one of the ways to uh, take the flat frames, it's the old way, <laughs> which is um, we are using natural sunlight to capture the flat frames. Um, ideally, it should be uh, on a day that is not very sunny, not too bright. Uh, one thing that is very important, never point your telescope directly to the sun if it doesn't have the ND filter. So you have to be very careful with that. The new flat frame section is located under advanced features and then go to image calibration and you will find it at the bottom of that page. Once you are on the uh, app, on the flat frame section, then we can move the arm. I am just going to use the traditional way, which is using a white t-shirt. When you are using a t-shirt or fabric, be sure that it's not all wrinkled. Uh, that is very important as all of that it's going to show. And all you need to do pretty much is just to cover the telescope. This one has two layers, but it all depends on your light uh, outside. Like I said, ideally, it's much better during the, during the blue hours. I am always using now the uh, move, shoot, move wedge. And as you can see, I have it right now set for the EQ mode. And now we will go to the app and we'll just go ahead and click on shoot. So now it's saying flat uh, shoot failed.
please point the sister at a uniform light source, which it's telling me that right now the source, it's probably too dark. Okay, so the natural way with the t-shirt didn't work. It kept giving me an error that light source was not even or consistent. And I think that it's probably because it was so cloudy. It, can, it needs to be done in a day that there's more sunlight. So it's time to move to the next method. Okay, so the telescope talks to you when you're going to take the flat frames. And it, the method that they recommend is to use a white piece of paper. So now I'm just going to use the phone as the source of, of light. And <laughs> I don't like this, this method too much, but I am going to do it and I'm just going to be sure that we have this in the right position. And this is exactly why I don't like this method too much. We're just going to leave it like that. <laughs> this is why I don't like it. I am literally going to barely touch the phone because I don't trust this. And now it's going, so be very careful. I just dropped a phone. Thank God this is a phone that it's just for camera purposes. Um, so it says that it got it and this was just a matter of a few seconds and I am going to see how is this going to look, but um, this is why the piece of paper works. Put the phone on, but just barely touch it. If you're going to use the phone or a tablet as a light source, you don't have to do this outdoors. Just do it indoors. <laughs> Be sure to put some cushions or pillows around. But this is what the C-Star app is recommending. It will tell you to do this. <laughs> so the process was really quick. I mean, it literally took just a few seconds. Uh, and just to clarify, uh, you don't need to take the flat frames every day or every time there's a imaging sessions as technically flat, fra flat frames you don't have to uh, take them at the same same sensor temperature and like i said there's not much information right now from uh, cwo just a couple of videos that i watch and just people trying to get some information from but from what i understand as today you don't have to retake them again i'm i'm sure maybe at some point if the telescope asks for it then we'll do it well, I am hope you enjoyed this short video. This is just a preview as it is cloudy, cloudy, cloudy every night. I don't have uh, anything, not, not a clear night in a few days. So I will have to wait to test the 60 seconds and uh, how these flat frames are going to, to work. If it makes much difference uh, on the uh, final stacked image by the telescope or not. For now, just go ahead. If you have clear nights, enjoy your telescopes. Oh, and there goes the little dog. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.